Hello guys and welcome back to program C++. Today I want to look at conditional statements and then the first conditional statement we'll be looking at is um, the if statement. So what is conditional statement? We say that a uh, conditional statement basically are used to perform different actions or operations and um, based on different conditions. So the moment patient um, is satisfied, uh, an action is performed. If it's not satisfied, another action could be performed or everything could be ignored. So the first conditional statement that we are looking at is what we call the if statement. We say that the if statement um, basically executes a block of code if the condition is true. Therefore, if the condition is not true, it just as it it doesn't uh, actually does it, it just leaves that block of code. So um, this is the syntax for if statement. So we have um, the keyword if here and then parenthesis and then in the parenthesis you indicate your condition here the condition that is supposed to be satisfied and then uh, the brackets come and then in the brackets you add the code that or let's say the instruction that you want the computer to perform if the condition turns out to be true and close the bracket yeah, so uh, let's get practical let's let's try something okay so we are back again to our id um the c plus plus so we are using okay so um let's comment let's say if statements there's a comment we are just commenting if statement as a queue you know is to show okay so this is just a comment so let's try one example uh, we are seeing that the syntax for declaring an if statement is you have the keyword if then your bracket which has uh, uh, sorry your your parenthesis which has your condition so let's say if 20 is greater than then we use the relational operator we will be looking at them in details greater than Let's say 16, 10, 10. So this is the condition followed by the curly bracket. Then what you want it to do comes here. So let's say C out. Let's have something like, um, so, okay. So let's try compiling and executing this and let's see what happens. Okay, if you have a problem here, okay, I think one statement wasn't. But the, and the, they, I uh, have yeah, this problem saying that. Okay, and you have double brackets here. Yeah, so let's see. Okay, so you have one. So, so this kind of happened. What happened was that uh, the condition, uh, here was true because 20 is greater than 15 so uh, this block of code was executed so let's try the other way around where we have the condition to be false and let's see what happens okay so if let's say this is two let's see what happens here okay so realize that nothing comes here because the condition is false so that is for if statement with if statement if the condition is true uh, it does use a if it's false, it just ignores the whole block of uh, code and then moves on to the next one. So let's add something and let's say, um, after the if statement, let's add something like C out. Or test. Yeah. <laughs> So let me end line here so that we add this on a different line. Okay, so let's see what happens. Compile and execute. So this was just a test. So the moment the condition was false, it, it skipped everything here. They didn't execute this and it came to execute that nest code block that was after it. So and let's look at it having the condition to be true at the same time. 
So then let's say 20, sorry. Basically, keep this and say. So it has the two here. So this time around, the condition is true. So you execute this and also execute it. But when it's false, it skips this and then executes the rest of the code, any other code that you would have outside that block. Thank you very much. That is it for each statement.